Have you ever felt like life is good, but like something's missing? Like it's good, but it's empty. That's today's topic of the Hello Well with Danielle podcast. I'm your host, Danielle Washington, and this is your weekly mental vacation from, from the daily grind for busy women who just need a moment to pause, breathe, and woosa, and reflect on life a little bit. And that's what today's topic is all about. It's like, some days I just feel like I'm just here. I'm just here. Life is, I'm just moving through life. I wake up in the morning. I do my morning routine. I get on the computer. I work. I work until I feel like it's time to stop. And I'm on Netflix and I then go to sleep and start all over again. I'm just here. And I'm curious to see if anyone else is feeling like they're just here without that spark. And it's okay. It's okay to feel this way. It just, you know, this is where we are. It's, but it just feels like something is missing. Like I'm craving something extra. I was talking to my therapist and I found myself saying, I just want to feel. I just want to feel something. Like, and I had to preface this with a disclaimer because I mean, I'm not looking to feel more struggle. I'm not looking to feel more stressed and more frustrated. Like I do feel that it doesn't happen as often because I've been doing the work, but I, I, I have those motions, but something else is missing. Like I'm craving that something extra that feels like joy, that feels like I'm elated, that spark. And that's what I feel is missing. And I had to acknowledge to myself that I'm in this space where nothing is good, nothing's bad. I'm just here. I'm so used to fighting, oh, well, life feels bad or celebrating that life feels good. But I'm in this in-between stage of I'm just here. It just feels like something's missing. And I wanted to acknowledge that I feel like I'm not the only one who may be having these moments where they're just going through life. They're feeling good, but just empty. And this isn't about feeling like I need some major change in my life. I don't think something, nothing needs to be drastically changed per se. And I'm not thinking that that's what others need in their life, but it's about wanting to feel fuller. And in that point, I'm like, okay, well, what did I do to lose? How did I lose my spark? Because I had my spark. When I was younger, life was good. I was doing my thing. I was, when I say younger, like say the 30s. The 30s, I was traveling the world. I was going out all the time. I was trying new experiences. I felt like there was a spark. And then somewhere around the 40s, I guess, I got really focused in on my healing process. And I I don't regret that because I feel I've gotten to the space of being grounded, which is where I am, where I can say I'm here. I'm not struggling. I'm not constantly stressed out. I'm in a good grounded space. But I still have to say, well, at what point, what stopped me from actively pursuing that spark or how did I lose that spark and if I had to be honest with myself it's like okay you just get busy you get busy being busy you're you know taking care of my parents helping out my family you know working with clients and paying bills and just being an adult and when you get caught up in focusing in on being an adult and just doing and pursuing that next goal and the next goal and checking off the to-do list, helping your kids. It just gets to the point where you get into a routine and that routine is you being busy, being busy, helping other people who are also probably busy. And that's how you sometimes lose your spark. Like life feels stable, but it doesn't feel joyful. Even as I'm reflecting on this now, what I'm realizing is plain and simple. I didn't make having that spark in my life a priority. My priority was to heal. My priority was to get out 
of survival mode. My priority was to be a little bit more financially stable. My priority was to take care of my parents. My priority wasn't my spark. My priority wasn't pursuing things that made me feel joyful because joy felt less urgent at the time. And I'm like, dang, that's, that's kind of rough to hear. And it's kind of rough to think about, but that is the reality. It wasn't bringing joy into my life, having moments where I felt excited and laughed wasn't a priority. My priority was everything else but that. And it's okay because again, I needed to focus on those things to get to this place where I feel grounded. I love feeling grounded. I love feeling the stability of consistent kind of energy. But I'm in this both and space. Doesn't mean that I can't have both. Like someone asked me if I thought I was in you know, this position between my old self and my new self and I'm just in transition. I'm like, no, it's not about being in that transitional space. I'm still where I am and I'm good where I am. I'm not trying to get to some new person. I just want to add on to this groundedness. I'm like, the best way I can describe it is it's like being a, it's like being a cake. Love some cake. You can make a yellow box cake and put nothing on it. The cake is still good, but a cake with some frosting, maybe some filling in it, some fruit on top or some sprinkles. Now that's a cake with some joy. That's a cake that's living a little bit fuller. I want to be the cupcake with a little bit fuller. I want the icing on it. I want the sprinkles on it. I want the feeling inside to feel, I want to feel something. I'm tired of just being. I love being grounded, but I'm, and I like being present, but I I want to feel more. I feel like we were not meant to just grind. We're not meant to just be a robot. And I feel like, We get in these spaces where we get in our head, we get in our routine and our routine feels comfortable to us to where we're like, okay, we're good. And is it because maybe we're afraid of what it feels like to do more or we're afraid if we pursue more to fill a more fuller life that we're going to go back into that exhaustion, feeling drained and stressed out and overwhelmed? I don't know. That might play into it as well. All I know is this ain't life. This doesn't feel like living. And I feel that I want to have emotions that make me smile, that bring me joy. But more importantly, I need it not to be something external. And what I mean by that is A lot of times I found that joy in in my 30s from traveling. And I don't want to feel like I have to travel to feel that spark, that joy. Like I love going out. I love meeting new people. I love being in new experiences. I love being in another culture. But I don't want that to be the, like the requirement to feel the spark. I also want to make sure, and I think that will help other people as well, to not focus in on other people when you're trying to find the spark that you might have lost. Because there's going to be times when no one else is around or that other person isn't around and you're still going to desire that spark. So my goal is to start actively pursuing my spark without it needing to be me traveling the world, without it me needing it to be including someone else. And what can I do to stop just being here and start living? It's so easy to get caught up in just being busy. It's so easy to be caught up in our responsibilities and adulting. The same way it's easy to get caught up in, okay, I'm, 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 I should be grateful for being just good. I should be grateful for feeling content with where I am in life, where I feel like I'm grounded, I'm not stressed out. But 
the reality is I and you are worthy of more than just being just good. Being good and empty isn't really good. Just being here may feel okay for the moment, but the reality is that's not why we were put on this earth. We were put here to live live fully. So I invite you as I do it myself, because I'm going to challenge you as I'm challenging myself right now, is to think about something small that can spark a little bit of more joy in your life. What's something small you can add to your life that will just bring just a tad bit more joy? If you've been listening to the show for a while, you know I love a good joy list. And I think it's time for me to revisit my joy list. And so it's a list of things that bring me joy. So it starts with figuring out what brings you joy and start making time to do them. Because if you don't make it a priority, you're just going to be here. And if being here is your thing, rock on, girl. But if you want more, we got to make it a priority to do just, you know, one or two things on that list. But as I always say, it's a choice. Like all of this is a choice. And as I wrap up this week's episode, I just feel like I needed to say and just kind of affirming whether you're feeling this or not, like if life feels like you're just going through the motions, it feels fine, it feels okay, but you still kind of feel empty. Like I want you to know that you are not alone. It's okay for you to crave more. And F that, you deserve more. We all deserve more in life. Life needs to feel not just stable and grounded. It needs to feel alive. It needs to feel joyful. You need to get that spark. And, you know, I also say you need to give yourself some grace. Um, I invite you to give yourself grace. I can't force you to give yourself grace. I can't empower you to give yourself grace. But I can encourage you to give yourself grace. Like we get busy, we get caught up in the cycle and yeah, it happens. So give yourself some grace, but also know that you are worthy of that joy, that spark. So again, one thing, one small little thing that lights you up, please try that, do that, consider it. And if you're not ready to consider it, think about it. So get the mind starting to salivate. It's probably the right word, I think. Um, To start getting its juices flowing, to be like, yeah, oh my God, that would feel so good. And start thinking about it. That helps. Having those thoughts will help the action, however simple it may be. So whether it's like, maybe it's revisiting your favorite song, or it's like, which is what I did this morning. I was listening to Alex Isley's, and not one of my favorite. It's not my favorite song, but it was a song by Alex Isley that just gave me some joy. Maybe it's stepping outside, why it's not snowing or raining yet, because, you know, it's all coming. Or just adding something to your own joy list. Whatever it is, let it be something that reminds you that you're freaking amazing, that you deserve to live life fully like you're Jill Scott and it's golden, even if it's just in the smallest of smallest ways. Because sometimes, honestly, it's those small sparks that lead to big old fireworks that start to feel like little orgasms of joy. That's what I'm going with today. So thank y'all for joining me today and I will see you next week. Stay strong. Love you. Ciao. Thanks for joining us this week on the Hello Well with Danielle show. Make sure to visit our website, hellowellwithdanielle.com, where you can subscribe to our show on iTunes, Spotify, and Amazon Music, and never miss an episode. Also, you can follow us on social media at Hello Well with Danielle on Facebook and Instagram, and Hello Well Danny on Twitter. And if you like Hella 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 Love the Show and got some good nuggets out of it, know that I'm not too proud to ask for you to please leave a rating or review on iTunes so that we can continue to expand our reach and help other women of color. Again, thanks so much for listening and I hope to see you next week. Ciao.